costume. It's Micah, the ADHD stitcher, and this is my floss tube. This is floss tube number nine, <laughs> and um, it is November 5th, Friday. <laughs> um, welcome. If you don't know what floss tube is, it's a place where we talk about cross stitch and sometimes some other stuff like occasionally crochet, which we haven't talked about crochet since probably maybe the first video because I just haven't done any. Um, and occasionally talk about ADHD, well, usually almost every video, um, because, you know, it happens. Um, but, so, yeah, hi. <laughs> Welcome. Um, tonight's video, well, today's video, this video, whenever you were watching it, it might not be as long as some of the other videos. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I had a long afternoon and evening of running all over a town, um, about an hour away, finding things my daughter needs for her dress rehearsal for her play tomorrow and her upcoming voice show and all that kind of stuff. So I'm worn out. <laughs> But I wanted to go ahead and film so that we wouldn't miss a whole nother week again. Because um, I don't like when that happens. I like it when I can talk to you every week. Um, I don't have a meme of the week. I think I've had them less than I have had them since I started it. <laughs> I was looking for one a few minutes ago. Um, but I just said, you know, let's let just let it go. And we'll find one for next time. Because uh, I wanted to get this done and my desire to get it done starting to lessen. <laughs> so, um, update, I'm trying to think. My son has a stomach bug. Bleh, not fun. Hoping we don't get sick. Um, especially since my daughter's play is this week. We have dress rehearsal for, I don't know, probably many hours tomorrow afternoon. Um, then she'll have practices next week. She'll have tech rehearsals the first couple of days where they'll get the mics and lighting and everything right. And then, uh, Wednesday, they'll do a couple performances for, um, the classmates in the school districts in the county. Um, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, she'll have performances. So... We don't need to all get sick right now. <laughs> Hoping Harrison is over that and that we don't all get it. And that's my hope, at least. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else going on. <laughs> like I said, I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long evening. So, um, since we don't have really anything else, let's just get into stitching. Um, the first thing I will show you, I do have a finish from this week. It was a start and a finish. Um, this was a piece. I told y'all last week that I was going to be participating in the Dark October Seance with, um, Emily C. here on Floss Tube and Cozy Egg. Um, Emily C. on Instagram is, um, Eclectic Positions and Cozy Egg is Cozy Egg on Instagram also. But, um, there were several of us that got together and stitched and hung out for a while, um, last Friday night? Yeah, a week from, a week ago today. Um, it was so much fun. It was so fun to get to hang out with other stitchers and just talk about stitching and whatever else. And, um, Michelle from Cozy Egg, uh sent us a couple of exclusive patterns and this is what I worked on while we were on there and then finished it up in the next couple of days. I used a um, Threadworks thread that I had variegated that's kind of orange to greenish to black, well not even quite black but kind of you know gray to purplish to you know <laughs> different colors. Um, but so, um, and that's what I did. And it was fun. It was a fun stitch. Um, 
And like I said, that was so much fun. I was hoping to get to do a, another Zoom stitch session tonight with um, Crystal Rowe. She was hosting her first one, and I really, I had planned to be there, and then I realized we don't have some of what we need for dress rehearsal, and we have to have it, and this was the only time that we could go, because we had something happening every evening. She had play practice every evening. We didn't have time to get to, because the town where we can most reliably shop is an hour away. Um, it's 30 minutes away from where they go to school. So... She's not getting out of play practice till 5.30. There's not time to then go there and shop and get home in time for her to get rest for school the next day. So, this was the only time we could go. So, that's what we did. But, anyway. That, uh, so that was my only finish this week. Um, I don't know how I'm going to FFO that yet, but it was really fun to stitch. So, then next I have my whips. So, this week I worked on a few different things. Um, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. One thing I worked on was um, pumpkin spice from um, the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And that's what it looks like when it is finished. Um, and then I will put up what I had done before. And then here is where we are now. So I took that, I, I did, worked on it some here at the house, and then I took it to his, to Harrison's basketball practice with me one day when I took him and sat and st stitched on it while I was waiting for practice. Oh my goodness, I'm dropping things again. So, yep. Yeah. I'm really liking it. It's super cute. It's a fun stitch. Um, nice and autumnal. Because all my stuff is really Halloween. I don't have very much in the way of uh, fall stuff. So I've been working on that. Sorry. I'm just chunking stuff down. Uh. Alright, so another thing I worked on, um, I don't think my sisters-in-law watch my videos, but Mika and Keela, if you were watching, well, hold on for a minute. Let me tell you a funny story. Mika. Okay. So, my name is Micah. One of my brothers used to call me Mika all the time to try to annoy me. I didn't really care. Um, he also will call me Mecca, which I have a cousin that calls me that too, but again, it doesn't bother me, but that's just one of those things. But so my brother would call me Mika a lot, but, um, when I started dating Justin and he told me he had a sister named Mika, I was like, okay. And to, <laughs> he always says, you know, what did his, what drug did his parents start doing after him? Because he's, Ju he's Justin and his sisters are Keela and Mika. And they're just, it's not that they're that crazy of a name, but compared to Justin, it's like, okay, where'd that come from? <laughs> but, so, um, then when I found out he had a sister named Mika, I was like, well, that's funny. Well, fast forward a few years after that, she ends up marrying a guy named Dustin. So, you have Justin and Micah, and you have Dustin and Mika. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fun. But so, okay, Mika and Keela, if for some reason y'all are watching this, skip forward for, you know, a couple minutes or so. Um, I've started on uh, at least one of my Christmas gifts, and I'm using this pattern from Liz Matthews. It's a freebie um, that you can get if you were on her newsletter. And I am doing it on um, a Black Ada a 14 count and I'm using um, DMC um, which this was this was part of my haul it's the DMC um, Caloris and it is number 4520 I have I have a full skein I'll show you here in a 
I'll show you during haul. Then you can see better than that. But so, um, I'm using that on this because I just love these. I love using a variegated floss over like a whole piece like this. I just think it's fun. So I'm stitching these for Christmas for them. They're each going to get one. And um, I'm going to, once again, I'll show you in haul. But what, I don't know. It's mat board. It doesn't really matter. I'm showing you now. Um, but I've got mat boards. And I will mount it on the mat board and then mount that on top of a, another piece of mat board that's covered in a Christmas fabric. Um, and give them those to put up in their house for Christmas decorations. And that was um, when Justin saw that I had done one of the little Halloween pieces like that. He was like, why don't you do that for my sisters for their gifts? Um, so that's what we're doing. Oh yeah, and I love this. You see my, good grief. You see my Santa needle minder? That's one of the needle minders I got from Mad for Minders. I love my vintage Santa. He's so cute. So that's the first one of two that I will do of that. Um, I'm trying to knock those out quickly so that then I can stitch stuff that I want to stitch. Because um, I have, and I think I've shown y'all before, but I have into all a good night from um, stitching with the housewives. Sorry, I'm getting it, so I'm crinkling. Let's see. I have um, into all a good night from stitching with the housewives that I would like to do to get finished to put up in my house. And my mom has requested one as well. So uh, I would like to get started on that. So I'm trying to knock out some Christmas gifts. So those will be done. Um, then the other whip I have was also a new start. I'm all about some new starts this week. I only have one thing that wasn't a new start. It, well, I didn't even realize that. Um, this is kind of coming over here. Okay, so for, we talked about um, November, um, Black Sampler November. It's the hashtag that um, Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery came up with. And I am doing Lindy Stitches, um, Death is a Dialogue. And so I started that this week and I had to make myself stop. I was like, okay, it's Black Sampler November. It needs to last. <laughs> so I had to make myself stop working on it because I love it. It's going really well. That's upside down. <laughs> so you can see I am right there on the pattern. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's fun. It's really fun to do all the, the just the black stitches. Um, and again, another needle minder from Mad for Minders. I love that little vintage stitching girl with the little kitty. Um, and I'm using for this, it is a, sorry. a 28 count cashel linen in natural from it's under the artiste brand from swag art I got it at hobby lobby um so it's part of that piece that i had um and then the thread the floss that was also a part of haul um is let's see well, if I can pick it up. Of course, I would have loved to have used Raven because I've really been loving using Raven, but it's out everywhere. Everybody bought it up. So, um, I'm using Black Coffee from Classic Color Works. And I like it. It's, it's a good, it's a good black with like, you know, that gray undertone. I would, I haven't gotten to see the variegation show up in the piece much yet because of the lettering, you know, it's a little more spread out. Um, you can see it a little bit in some of this, but not majorly, not as big as you would if it was something like Raven from Gast. Um, but I'm hoping in some of the, this next band that goes under here, this one, I'm hoping you'll be able to see it a little bit more because it's a little more solid. 
But I like the color. It's just the color in general is a great color, and it's a great floss to work with. So, and I really like the way that it looked with the natural linen. And I think those are all my whips this week. We've been busy. Um, busy, busy, busy. There are afternoons where my son gets... My son has also started basketball practice. So there are afternoons where he gets out of basketball practice at the same time she gets out of play practice. <laughs> and because they go to school 30 minutes from our house, like we don't come all the way home. We just hang out in the car <laughs> and wait. So and there's a lot of um, being gone right now. So I'm not able to do as much stitching. And I've been playing some Animal Crossing <laughs> since the update came out. Um, so, yeah. Okay. And so then I have some haul. Not a lot, but, well, yeah, it's a little bit. Because I'd it was a couple different things that I'd ordered previously and then some new stuff. Um, so, like I said, I'd ordered, it was an order from Fat Quarter Shop that I got the Coloris and the um, black coffee in. So, there's two more of the skeins of Coloris. You can see a little bit better kind of how it plays out. Um, and then I also got, um, I got in Harvest Moon because I was thinking I might start one of my pieces from the, um, Hello Winds of Autumn from, um, Blackbird Designs. I don't know if I will, but I have that for whenever I am ready for that piece. Because it also uses the black coffee, and I should have enough black coffee left over to do that with it. Um, I don't know if I said it, this is an order from black from black fat quarter shop. <laughs> I think I did say that. Um, and that's I also got the sticky boards from there. Um, I do I have used this kind before, and then I've also used the ones from Hobby Lobby. These really are better. They're they're thicker. They're just a little bit nicer. So I went ahead and got those. Plus, I found lately that a lot of the ones at Hobby Lobby are bent or warped. So no. Um, and this okay, Justin. I don't know if my husband is watching my videos anymore, but at one time he was. <laughs> Justin, if you happen to be watching this one, skip ahead a couple of minutes, please. And thank you. And he will. See, if my sisters-in-law are watching, they would not have skipped. But Justin will. Um, I got this Mill Hill Gym Shore kit. Um, it's gift-bearing Santa. Justin loves Santa Clauses. And we have... Well, here, let me show you. There's all the goodies in there, of course. Um... When we decorate, we have multiple trees. I think I've talked about this before. But um, we have my pretty tree, and then there's a tree for him and the kids that they call the fun tree. And they can do whatever they want to with it. But after the kids are gone, he wants to make it a Santa tree. It will be his Santa tree. So he has started collecting Santas. You know, like gets one or two a year. Usually my mom or somebody will give him one. Um, but I thought that I could make him start making him Santas and I thought that was a cute one because he likes he likes classic but he doesn't like primitive which I don't like prim for um, Christmas stuff I love it for Halloween stuff I don't like it so much for Christmas stuff but I think this is more in the style he, he, he will like and if it's not his favorite he won't tell me that <laughs> he's, he's a smart boy <laughs> but so I got that also um and doo -doo -doo -doo, the book of days. I am a planner girl. I like my favorite planner, the one I've been using for the last few years, is the Happy Planner by me and my big ideas. Um, I have in the past used an Erin Condren and I enjoyed it. I have also used Emily Lay Simplified Planner, loved those, but. I'm not consistent enough to actually use it daily like I would like to with the Emily Lay. 
And I really like having the vertical layout like Erin Condren. You can get an Erin Condren and a Happy Planner. And the reason the Happy Planner wins out for me is because you can change stuff out. Um, let me show you. Sorry. My new planner is on the way, so I can show it to you next time. But um, this is, well, part of my planner from last year. It says create more. One of the things I like about these, it's the disc system. So you can take out and add in stuff. So, for example, in the front, I have different things that I've written down that I needed to remember. Um and you can, you know, have whatever kind of dividers you want and all that jazz. And then you can add in. So, like, there are daily pages that I have in case I'm entering a section where I need them to help me keep up with what's happening when on that day. Um, and I can easily just, like, go to, so, like, December. Not all filled out yet. Um... Oh no, I forgot. This one doesn't do it right. I had to, I have a thing I bought online to add in. A printout and add online. Okay, so these aren't the official Happy Planner pages, but they're similar, they're similar setup. And you can, um, so I can write in the stuff for each day. But then I could also bring in, for example, a, um, like one of those daily pages. That's what I was just talking about. And take the daily page and I can stick it in here if it's on a day that I need it. And then I have it there. So I can take switch in and out anything that I need to. So I, that's why I really like those. Um, I've also used them like a bullet journal before. But, so that's what I use for my daily planning. But for cross-stitching, I wanted to get a book of days. Um, they are from Needlework Press. Um, you can get them from a lot of LNSs or online needle shops. Um, a lot of them have, so like each month, so like this is June. So you have a spot for notes, and there's usually like a couple of little quotes in there. And there's usually like, then there's like a little motif above that. Um, and then I can keep track of what I stitch when. That will help too with floss too, but I can just look at this and tell you when I stitched what. <laughs> um, and then also, uh, like you've probably seen um, Stephanie from Just Keep Stitching and Kia from Kia Bee Quilting and um, Liz Matthews. Um, they all do a lot of stickle, stick, stickle, sticker journaling kind of things in their book of days and in their planners. And I, not to the level necessarily, definitely not to the level of Liz, but um, I do that. I do have a lot of the stickers for the Happy Planners. Um, they always put out a set that matches the planner. And then I have other sets with lots of different things that I love. So, but, um, I do like the sticker situation as well. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness. That was a really long-winded <laughs> way of saying I like to do the stickers too. And so I had looked at ordering one of these and I had said, nah. Well, then tonight we were at Target and they had the Antiquarian sticker book. And I do believe it was a little bit cheaper than Amazon. Maybe it maybe it wasn't, but I did get also got a deal because I got I'd bought a couple of books. So that may have made it a little cheaper. But um they're Victorian inspired stickers. And they also had the bibliophile one, which is the newer one for this year. But so they're all these like fun just all kinds of Nice randomness inspired by the Victorian era. Um, kind of like, you know, lots of good stuff you can use for different seasons. Letters. Um, oh my goodness. Birdies. 
people doing different dancing things, I guess. Ooh, snakes. But yeah, so it's a lot of fun. I'm excited about it. I was excited to find that because, you know, these are big for my planner, but they are perfect for the book of days. Um, and they're just stinking pretty stickers. Oh, where's the, I just flipped right past the page. I was like, oh, I need to show that one. And then it went away. Is that whole page a stick? Oh, sorry. Skeletons. Good for Halloween. All that kind of fun stuff. So, yeah. Anyway. So, I got, I picked that up at Target. And I was very excited when I saw it. I was like, yeah. Ooh, these are pretty. I love, I love, 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 love Victorian flowers. I think they're so pretty. Anyway, so I got those things to use for my book of days to help keep up with all my stitching stuff. And um, I also, since I finally was in the town that has a Target, which is an hour away, so I don't get to go very often, um, I checked the dollar spot. Of course, they were, you know, the witch's cauldrons from Halloween were long gone. But they had put out Christmas stuff. And look at this little sled shelf situation. Isn't it cute? It was just $5. It's a wall shelf. It does have a little alligator clip on the back to hang it up with. Um, I don't know if that I'll actually hang it. I might. I'll have to move something. But um, I thought that was would be super cute to put like some small finishes on there and they had like the little bottle brush trees I just didn't like th the colors were cute but they didn't work for what I would want to do um but you know you can put some little somethings in there and some little small finishes I thought that was super cute so got that and that's really all of my haul um ooh plans are going to be to continue to work on gifts to try to get them knocked out. I also want to um, soon start working on the um, Cats Love Christmas ornaments from Lindy Stitches. I love these. They're so cute. Um, so I'd like to start working on those soon so I can get those on my tree this year. And yeah, just stitching continue on these things I've been working on. You know how I do. <laughs> Stitch whatever. <laughs> whatever mood. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, um, the Bougie Stitchers gave me a big fat shout out last week and I was their BFF of the week. So that was really fun. Thank you, ladies for that shout out. It's much appreciated. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for making me laugh every time y'all put out a video. I know it's going to be a good time. And, um, and hi to all of you that have come over since then. Thanks for coming by and saying hey and checking us out. Us. Me. <laughs> us. My mini personalities. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, I told you I'm tired. The more tired I get, the more the ADHD scatterbrain kicks in. But that's, I won't, I'm not sleepy. That's another ADHD. I won't be able to sleep yet. Um, but I need to just, like, sit and stitch or sit and play a video game or something. Let my mind wind down and my body get sleepy. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> now I'm just rambling. So I should probably stop now. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much for, for watching. For all of my new subscribers, welcome. To my old subscribers, thank you. And thank you for still sticking around and hanging out with me. And... Um, to people checking me out for the first time, um, subscribe, like the video, hang around for a while. Let's have some fun. <laughs> um, you know, hit me up in the comments any questions you have about anything or whatever. I'm pretty much an open book if you haven't figured that out yet. 
So, yeah, that's all for now. And, um, well, I was going to say we'll see you next week, but we'll see. Because my husband um, will be out of town for work. Which means, see, I'm not a morning person, and he is the one that actually takes the kids to school in the morning because he takes them to school and then goes on into work early because he can kind of do his own hours. Um, and he's going to be out of town, so I'm going to have to do all the running around, and I'm going to have to get up early. <laughs> and next week, you know, we'll, it's the week of my daughter's play, so all weekend we'll have the play, so I really don't know when or if I'll be able to film. So, maybe see you next week. Um, maybe two weeks. We'll see how it goes. But, um, I'll be around on Instagram. I'll be posting whatever. And if you ever want to chat, look, dudes. Dudes. Um, you know, I welcome Facebook. Facebook. Um, <laughs> DM me on Instagram, whatever. We can chat. Stitching or ADHD or life. Whatever. <laughs> okay, I quit now. Like I should have quit when I was ahead, but that point was long past. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you next time. Whenever that next time is. So, uh, talk to you later. Bye.